Hello everyone and welcome back to Demo Dash. We're on day four of Demo Dash 14 and uh, as you can see I kind of uh, sealed myself in a hole here at the end of the last episode because oh, that was a doozy or part episode. I don't know anymore. <laughs> so yeah, we're one string away from a bow. We still haven't found any diamonds as the goal of this Demo Dash requires. And I'm gonna go this way. I said I sealed it up, but and I might need to go this way, but I feel like this might just be the way to go. Because we need to try and... Oh, good. Ominous cave noises. That's exactly what you want to hear. <sighs> so many mobs! Oh my god, there's a lot of zombies. For a second, I thought that was a mod spawn. I was like, what the? I would explain it. So, I have a creeper. Ooh. That's actually good. I don't need to mine gold for any reason. I do have an apple. Yeah, I guess I should just uh, take the gold. I don't see myself needing a bone mill, though. Okay, so we found gold. That does mean we're pretty low down. But I'm not sure how low. And I th feel it's better if I just don't pull up F3 and check our height. Because, you know, that kind of takes away the fun, right? And... We stack torches. Yeah, we're good on coal for the moment. Hmm. Well, this might be as far down as we get, but we're getting closer to our target level. But we need to keep going till we find a natural cave of diamonds, which, as I said in the previous episode, we're starting to say, I forget how much I finished the thought. Yeah, uh, this is, uh, words, uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, I, earlier in this demo dash, I thought it was like a guaranteed thing. We definitely would. Because I really want to go past here, but... Like, I can climb up here, I guess. I don't know. I feel like there is a cave over here, but I don't see an inkling or any, like... I can't see the cave, so I shouldn't go through the gravel. <laughs> Which is so painful to say, but... Okay, I almost used wood to block off lava. I feel like that might lead somewhere. Okay, good. It was going down now. It's a dead end, is it? Yep, it's a dead end. <laughs> well, so much for this side. It did at least uh, prove we're close to gold level, but we did not find anything close to what we needed. And I don't even want to go back up there. I'll go the other way. <laughs> so I have no idea where we are in relation to the ravine, even. Oh, wow. That definitely should go down to diamond level, I'd think. Well. <laughs> so, this is fun. <laughs> huh. Okay, so yeah, this case system definitely should lead to diamonds. I'm just not sure where. Because we could go that way, or this way, or the other ways. So many ways we could go. Hmm. This led to a dead end. <laughs> Glad we ruled that one out first, then didn't have to like come way back here thinking it would lead us to diamonds when, oh. Okay. Yeah, this definitely has to lead to diamonds. We're gonna finish it this episode. I'm, nope, never mind. I was gonna say, I'm confident that I saw it didn't go down as much. I thought it was leading into a big ravine, but it is the big ravine. 
Well, I feel like this is still the best chance we have at the moment. Just worry about the creeper or anything else that I don't see. <laughs> if that blew me back into lava, I would have been annoyed. And yeah, the creeper does uncover diamonds. I mean, that does kind of count. <laughs> I mean, we didn't find it naturally in the cave, but it still wasn't us who manually mined the stone to uncover it, so I'd count it. Hmm... This is another example where I could have built, but I'm just mining stone instead, because it's easier. <laughs> but yeah, I have no idea if we're deep enough for diamonds at the moment, but after finding that gold, I kind of know we're in the rough ballpark now. I don't know. And yeah, in the previous episode, I was talking a bit about future demo dashes and how the next one is, or the next one will be the final one of the season, demo dash 15, end of season 3, and bring it to a nice uh, average of 5 per season, which I think is cool. <laughs> but I'm not sure exactly what to do, because I did, or yeah, I started to get into it, because. Just make sure there's no diamonds here. Because if I walk past diamonds, like, it's just hidden under this water or something. And I see it while editing, I'm just gonna be like, oh god, no. Why, bio, why? Anyway, so, uh, for the next, uh, Demo Dash season, I'm not sure what I want to do, or if I even want to do another. I kind of do at the moment, though, or at least had some new ideas for Demo Dash, and I definitely feel, uh, well, I definitely know next season I want to try mods, because I feel playing around with some mods opens up a lot more possibilities, even if the mods aren't part of the goal, if that makes sense. But they just, like, remember there was that Mob Hunter one. I think that's probably the most fun I've had in a Demo Dash. The one where I was in the underground place and using Dungeon Crawler. I don't know, that was, like, a really awesome one. And I think probably the best Demo Dash, or one I'm remembering very fondly. <laughs> okay, now we're getting back into the dangerous territory. Oh, there's, like, diamonds right down there. I'm being annoyed. Okay, so we know this is gold level. So, down there on the floor, that's definitely close and lapis too, but... <laughs> anyway, let me finish the thought before I say too much more. But, uh, yeah, so... I'm not sure, or I would like the next Demo Dash season to be modded, but I really don't have a plan for a season at the moment, just because I'm not sure how to go about it. That also means that that is definitely going to lead close to diamonds. Okay, we'll head this way. Oh, crap. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> okay, I guess I surely shouldn't complain there's two zombies, but still, lots of mobs. <laughs> okay, I feel like... <laughs> That could have been really bad if I didn't notice it. <laughs> I was just coming in earlier. Well, if a creeper explodes and reveals diamonds, I'd count that and that's exactly what just happened. Okay, I do want to, or like I said, the goal is to try and find diamonds or mine diamonds and we'll complete the goal, but I will keep going because there's like the extra goal, the extra... Whatever you want to call it. Why do I have so many boats still? <laughs> really? <laughs> there we go. We completed the Demo Dash. We found diamonds. Only using natural caves. And now the goal is to see how... Wow, this was a pretty big diamond vein. Oh, wow. Nine? Wow! So when I was talking before, you know, we could get one, we could get 20 or whatever I said, or 15 I think was the number actually. I didn't actually expect to get 15. Wow. So anyway, I, I'm losing track, or sorry, give me a second just to focus a bit more on the diamond stuff now, because we found diamonds. That's a really big deal for the demo dash, and I don't want to downplay that or just immediately get back to other conversations. 
That, yeah, we completed the Demo Dash. That's awesome. And nine diamonds. That's like the biggest diamond vein I think I've ever seen. I know they, I'm not even sure they can go bigger. Like, that's one thing I guess I never got too much into with Minecraft. It's like the whole hunt for diamonds and getting the most diamonds or that sort of stuff. Like, I know that's something I guess a lot of other players learn or care more about. I just realized this also means we can make diamond armor. I mean, a full set of diamond armor is really unrealistic. At least with this challenge. But, hey, we could make a diamond chest plate. I really just want to find more diamonds, though. Just so, even if the creeper didn't explode, we can say we still found diamonds. And it wasn't just because of that fluke. I hit the creeper back as it exploded and it uncovered them. Because that was really, really lucky. And... Oh, why didn't I do that earlier? I should have made a bucket when I was near water and... Ah, uh, I can't go across the lava now, or at least not easily. Yeah, this is back where I found it. And, oh, there's water down here. Okay, uh, yes, that's what I'm going to do now. So, I'm going to put down the furnaces and the crafting table. And put in a coal. And while we're at it, we might as well uh, cook up the gold and make sure that uh, golden apple. Okay, so I think what I'd like to do is... I don't know, should I make... I would ask you guys, but I will finish recording the Demo Dash before I could see a response. Die. Uh, <laughs> if only I had a lava boat. Oh, there we go. I don't know, I'm not sure... I feel like a diamond sword is the go-to, but I kind of just want to... Ah, I'm just going to do it. Because in the other episode, I lost my chest plate. And now I have a diamond chest plate. <laughs> I don't know. Even for someone who never got too much into the whole, like, vanilla stuff, finding diamonds and that stuff, a diamond chest plate's still really cool. Or just like a very big milestone in a world series, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so uh, to talk more about the Demo Dash stuff, or just so I can fully put that to rest and take it off my notes and not bring it up again in the next episode, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, just because, uh, um, I feel like, oh, I don't have inventory space or stone. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure uh, what I'll do because I don't have a timer mod prepared for any other versions past 1.7. But continuing the trend, I would do 1.8 modded. But I kind of would like to just uh, go ahead and skip to more recent versions so I can play more recent mods. I know there's a lot of 1.8 mods I'd love to use in a demo dash, but it's a dead version and it doesn't have the best variety of mods. So I feel it'd be good just to go like right to 1.12 and such. And there we go, now we can make the golden apple. Actually, I probably should just do it like that, because I don't need an axe underground either. Actually, I'm going to burn a few things just so, uh, don't need that, don't need that. Honestly, don't need the rotten flesh. I'll keep that. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's good for the moment. Don't need to burn everything. But, uh, yeah, so I don't have a mod update, but I think I'm just going to, like, 1.11 or such. also did have a very rough idea of something special to do. Uh, I'll try and remember to note it down. I haven't yet. I don't want to mention it now, because that's kind of coming into it if I mention it. Anyway, also, I probably should, uh, start doing that. Oh. Oh! Oh! Would you look at that? <laughs> so, uh, I probably, I'm not sure if I would have. Oh. <laughs> well. Wait, did I get that one? I think I did. I have an active diamond in my inventory. And this is not mining a cave because I still see the lava, which kind of implies an area, but I'm not going to keep going. See, like, that's an area. I mined through that because I thought there was something here, and there was. Anyway, but yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for future Demo Dash seasons. I also did mention, I talked about this in the update vlog, and I feel it should also be in the Demo Dash. But I also did have the idea of doing, like, a Demo Dash retro, but it solves the problem of not having a timer. So. I don't know, but we got a bunch of diamonds. I should go back and make uh, more diamond stuff now. Uh, 
Oh, I was like, I thought I left the crafting table. Okay. So let's see if I can get full diamond armor. That's like a not really realistic goal, but eh, let's go for it. Huh, because we still have one more episode. We already found diamonds just using natural caves. And yeah, there was a lava lake over here. That's originally what inspired me to try and get a bucket because I couldn't cross it. And it looked like it could lead to other stuff. First kill the diamond sword. Feels good. <laughs> I think it was back here. Yeah, this... Yeah, it looked like I saw past there. And I was like, oh, I wish I could get back there. So yeah, I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions here for future Demo Dash stuff, let me know. I really, like I said, I really don't have any concrete plans. I'm not even sure if there will be a season four, but I definitely know how I want to end season three now, and that kind of sets it up for uh, more seasons in the future. It's kind of where I'm looking now, because I am liking Daniel Dasher. It's been a way because I just haven't had a whole bunch of ideas of like goals, or I kind of done a lot, and I just don't want to keep doing things too similar, if that makes sense. Like, I have done things similar to this, but I don't know, I feel this is a unique twist on my previous hunts for diamonds or such. Like, I know I've done a lot in Demo Dash, actually, like, Enchantment Table needed diamonds, and, I don't know, a few others needed diamonds, too. I don't know, I never quite did it in this way, so it feels unique. And, yeah. I don't know. It's been a while even since I just had, like, a diamond sword in Minecraft. Because in Proton, that's the only other series I've had in a while. Because this... I don't know. That actually brings me to another topic. But I think I'll save that for the next episode if I even get into it. I'm still not sure if we can find diamonds or we're low enough or what. Because I'm trying to avoid checking the F3 menu. Just because it's a little cheaty with this. Or It's more the fact... If I knew this couldn't lead to diamonds, I just would completely stop looking in this entire direction. But since I don't, like, I definitely feel like now we went up too high. But since I don't, I will explore things I otherwise wouldn't. So that's kind of how I feel that's a little cheaty. I don't know. But yeah, so, yeah, future demo dashes are a thing. I'm just not sure what mod I'm going to use for, or what version I'm going to use, if I can get a mod for that version made even, or how I'm going to do the timer. I have been looking into some alternatives to make it hopefully a bit easier in the future, but I don't have anything like set in stone yet or definitely confirmed. But yeah, we found a lot of diamonds though. And I guess we keep going this way now. Oh, wait, I want to make more torches. Oh, that might be the end of this part of the cave. Hmm. Also really tempted just to make a diamond pickaxe. Yeah, that that's the end. And I think even if I did uncover diamonds from that, I couldn't count them. But we did find legit diamonds. We also found diamonds that a creeper helped unveil, which I think is awesome. And I'm not sure how far we went up here before. I think I did go up here. Oh, nope, it does go back down, so. Well. <sighs> so, yeah. We found diamonds. I did get to talk about demo dash stuff. I don't know. I feel like there was a more resolute or better resolution I had in mind when I brought up the topic or wrote it down, but. Yeah, I have plans or some ideas for season four, but nothing set in stone. I don't have a mod up or the dimer mod updated. Don't know of any mods that are good enough at what I want. Cause you know, if I use like the in-game time, then it uh, doesn't really work. If I sleep, it would mess that up. I also really like it just counting down. And also the alerts in chat are really good. I really do like Time Traveler's version of it. It's a lot better than I think. I don't know, Toast version was good, but I definitely like Time Travers, like, the best at the moment. <laughs> also, I'm really worried I'm just gonna fall in lava and... <laughs> like that, that could have been the fall in lava and die. And... I don't know, dying now would be, like, the worst. 
Okay, well, that's the end of day four, so I guess I have to wrap up this episode here. We did complete the demo dash, and, uh, yeah, the next episode, we will continue looking around, seeing if we can find more diamonds. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed, until next time, goodbye.